Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Wargaming.net League Gold Series Playoffs. My name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny. Liz Addison 99. And it's Kip Bralfa. And we are still waiting for PvP Super Friends to get all of their crew up and mm -hmm. ready to go. I mean, they're, they're, they've got their hands full. I mean, they are actually at WCA right now in China. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Wargaming League employee Yamane is yep. actually there with them. Mm -hmm. So I think they're about good to go. But the rules are the rules. And uh, we're still waiting for, I believe, two of their two of their guys to log into the client. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and talk about this for just a minute. I mean, not 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 what's going on at WCA per se, but definitely mm -hmm. um, where things are at now with the rest of the tournament. This is day two of the playoffs. Now, for those of you who were not here the day before yesterday, mm -hmm. Charlotte Tiger mm -hmm. advanced. They yep. are going to the season finals wherever on earth it may be. I don't know. It'd be kind of funny to see it in the Marshall <laughs> Islands, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean. It's, yeah. it's kind of funny. I, the reason why I bring that up is because, well, Marshall Islands, I, I think that would be considered, you know, APAC, right? APAC? Yeah. It, really? It's a, it's a small group of islands that are basically way off to the northeast of, um, of Australia, more or less. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And okay. Uh, it's actually where the U.S. tested the world's first hydrogen bomb. And, well, there were four islands. Oh. Now there's only three. I believe, mm -hmm. <laughs> but basically there's one less because, well, America has to test its stuff. But anyway, mm -hmm. um, like I just I thought it was a little bit strange because there's a lot of, or I just thought it would be something to compare because, uh, well, there's a lot of people in my hometown that come from the Marshall Islands. Really? Yeah, but uh, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really, really. There's about two thousand of them that live in my hometown. Okay. And uh, I mean, I, I I think it would be. You know, how do I say this? I, I kind of wish that esports was something that everyone can have. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's kind of, how do I say this? It's kind of one of the problems that even Americans can't figure it out after, you know, the collapse of NASL, the retraction of MLG, and uh, IPL closing its doors. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. All yeah, those things right. kind of came to light. But, uh, I mean, I feel like uh, if it's one place on the planet that definitely has the right economic model, it would definitely have to be here in Asia. Mm. Capitalism wins every time. <laughs> Um, so, let's stop and talk for a minute about PvP Super Friends mm -hmm. versus Team Efficiency. It's a little bit, mm. it, it's kind of a, a little bit sad to see them in this situation because... Yeah, you know, both of the teams were, were actually in the season finals exactly. last season. Yeah, yeah but no, on this season, the PvP is doing not that good compared to previous season, I think. Yeah, Definitely. Right. But Team Efficiency is still strong, but on this season, we got the Shaw Tiger, you know, uh, they are Team Pretrian. Last season, right? And only got like number seven or eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, okay, Elon is really professional. Because, uh, when they get into the semi final, I think everybody expects that, you know. It's not nothing surprise there, but, you know, got more and more strong team here. That's why the team efficiency and the su PvP super friends, they are so tough right now, you know. <laughs> so let's talk about the situation right now. Um, mm. PvP Super Friends has to play against Team Efficiency, and from this yeah, best of right. seven, yeah. we determine who is eliminated. Yeah, that's right. And really. after that, the winner goes on to face Elong, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Elong has shown frightening fighting style since day yeah, one. Yeah. Um, they got a couple, you know, not I cannot say that's a uh, mistake, you know, but somewhat like unlucky, especially right. on the Prokinovka, they almost win, but. Uh, you know, when they rush in, they uh, couple RU251 killed by the P49. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, shot right. take just, like just vaporize, right? Hit point. No. Right. Wow. And I mean, like, mm. one other thing to throw out there is the fact that, um, mm. like, it, the, the first game we ever saw them play was on Mines mm -hmm. versus ah, yeah, NVIDIA yeah, yeah. game or NVIDIA Aces. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was it? Yesterday, the first game we saw them play against PvP Super Friends was mm -hmm. also on Mines, but uh, it seemed like something fell apart in their strategy. Yep. Perhaps, and I mean that was certainly a moral booster to PvP Super Friends, but it didn't keep them, you know, in the lead forever. They still, you know, dropped. I think the third map was a tie. They dropped the second map, mm -hmm. um, and I believe the fourth map was definitely where Elong put themselves put themselves out ahead, and uh, the end score was four two mm -hmm. in favor of Elong. So I, you know, I mean, I, I feel like. If it's any team that really deserves to go mm -hmm. to the season two finals, it would definitely be any one of these three teams, yeah. hands down. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, honestly, I, I feel like we're when we're talking about Elong versus either of these teams, Team Efficiency or PvP Super Friends, we're talking about David versus Goliath. If you guys have heard of that that story mm -hmm. from the Bible, 
if you will. Um, the giant versus the ordinary man. Okay. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, the, this is the Clash of the Titans. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Everything and else in between. Yeah, it's really, really exciting to see more and more strong teams coming up. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's like the Immortals. Mm -hmm. They were one of the uh, best teams in Asia, but they, they didn't even uh, advance to the playoffs. Yeah, but you see the play playstyle, you know, I, I feel their like playstyle so much changed. You know? It, uh, yeah, it fell they, off. They love to rush on previous season, but on this season they came a lot. Totally different, I think. But they're still doing really nice on close combat, but I don't know why. They seem to lose confidence. You know. Maybe, maybe the I don't know. It's hard to describe. Maybe did their did their roster go under any big changes or no? Uh, they got a couple of new members, but you know they 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 are actually they have two teams, team A and B, right? Mm -hmm. So they they sometimes they got replacement. B yeah. gaming and Flappy Birds, I believe. Uh, it was. Or uh, it's a three versus this is three versus right. three, but actually they have member like fifteen. So they got some replacement. It's uh, quite normal, but uh, I don't know why their play style is somewhat different right now. All right. <laughs> so where are we at with the players in the lobby, mm -hmm. Alpha? Is everyone showing up or? Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know, maybe we go to a short little break. Yeah, we can come back and we can check that after. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Don't go away.
All right, guys, we are back in, ev well, I wouldn't say just about everyone has a tank selected and in lobby, but we see a pretty standard setup thus far coming from both sides. Three MX-50s coming out from PvP Super Friends and two IS-3s, or, well, one IS-3 thus far. I'm going to be surprised to see a fourth AMX-50 to accompany that, but uh, thus far it looks pretty standard coming from PvP Super Friends. They are at WCA, which is kind of like, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of the reason why we got started just a little bit late tonight. Um, they're a little bit, how do I put this, set back by the tournament that's going on on the ground in China. And Yamane is with them. Basically, I think he's just, he's there in China to make sure that everything is uh, okay with the World of Tanks tournament there. But he's going to just happen to be with the guys at the Internet Cafe, I believe. Just like, the, just like he was yesterday. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah, hopefully they, they won't discontinue today. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. All right. So three MX fifties coming out from Team Efficiency thus far, and Ooh. their final one was an AMX thirteen ninety, but it looks like it's been swapped out. You guys can't see that on the PC that uh, that is broadcasting this right now, but we do have a, an observer position in game mm -hmm. via Alpha's computer to yeah. our right. There's two I three. Mm -hmm. They have identical setup. Mm -hmm. Perfectly normal for this map. Yeah. Perfectly normal. Yeah. All right. It seems it might be uh, you know, more defensive today. Right. <laughs> I <laughs> mean... Yeah, they, no, uh, no one ch uh, sometimes the team efficiency will choose a Chinese one. If they choose that, that means they have a more aggressive Chinese But they only choose I3 normal. No well, this is where I stop and think to myself. Um, PvP Super Friends versus Team Efficiency is going to be, you know, very exciting to say the very least. This isn't the first time we've seen them play against each other. Uh, and, I mean, how do I put this? I, I feel like this is going to go to a full seven games. How about you guys? Full seven games? Yeah, I think we're going to see a full seven games in this best of seven. Maybe, I but if there's, if there's any draws, we're not going to see right. all of the seven games. Well, we <laughs> might see a full four games and then get taken into assault mode. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe, but... Yeah. Uh, Spine to the north, it's going to be PvP Super Friends. And to the south, give it up for our team efficiency. The season finals, second prize winners of season one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do remember uh, the shot tiger. Mm -hmm. uh, when they're trying to fight the Elon on this one, they rush into the fence and it's doing so nice. You mm -hmm. know. That's wow. right. Yeah. It was great. It was great. Yeah, it looks like they rush in the first moment and just rush in. Oh, uh, this is making me a little bit scared. <laughs> this particular position that we have coming from uh, PvP Super Friends, it can be exploited just a little bit, but I mean, they, they got their T1 Cunninghams waiting on their extremes, and conversely, coming from Team Efficiency, they're all piled up, going up that hill to the far east. Mm -hmm. Not something we see all that often. Yeah, you know, and, and the position of PvP Super Friends is not those tr uh, the traditional uh, the defensive style yeah. that we see, you know, because we, we, only, we always see an ice three on on the window be, uh, mm -hmm. beside the base, but it's not the situation right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there is something I'd like to highlight, or something I'd like to bring to our attention right now. Uh, so, Edison, can you ta can you answer me this question? Mm -hmm. Why is it that on Himmelsdorf, the most frequently picked tanks are always AMX fifties and IS threes? Why would that be? Yeah, because of IS three is really a nice defensive tank. Mm -hmm. you know, he's not designed for rush, but not like K5 or Chinese 110. But if you choose I3, you can use the size range skill to defend. It's really useful skill. And the M50, you know, you got, you got speed, you got firepower, you got really nice boss range. So that's why they choose the combination. You can defend and you can rush. All right, well, I thought maybe, just maybe, it, it would have something to do with um, the lack of camouflage on this map. The, yeah. You know, I mean, just about the only spot on the map with camouflage is actually mm -hmm. uh, where team efficiency is piled up presently. Yeah. And yeah. even yeah. so, it's very little. No one chooses a mid tank or light tank here. You, someone chooses that one, another team going to rush. You know, they know you got a lower firepower, so they just rush you. All right, so... <laughs> Dex is there at about G7, and that, that leads me to believe that I think he could be trying to get their attention for whatever reason. And uh, just as I say that, we actually have team efficiency pulling back. Can't say with certainty why they are doing that. Edison, can you can you tell us what this is all about? Why are they going back? Because of the new, you know, 
when, when they go up because they gonna protect someone on the hill. Maybe he just the uh, the team efficiency only want to send one M50 to heal, but you know, if, if they just go one, maybe the PP got two there, and the the, the, the that, that one gonna die there. So they use the four tanks trying to protect him. That's it. So when when he find out okay there is nothing, they just go back. Okay, well here we are. Dex does just rolling forward, and uh, I feel like, oh boy, that T1 Cunningham coming out from PvP is gonna spot him. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna give the that's gonna give them time to react, and it should surely almost all but be known that we have team efficiency right around the corner. Does fire a shot? Doesn't connect with anything, and Dex is on the reload. So, do we see anyone peel away? Anyone go in a different direction? It looks like we do. Elite is gonna try and. Follow the path of that T1 Cunningham comics, and I, I find it a little bit shocking that PVP Super Friends are yeah they haven't re they haven't relocated just yet. Hmm. Oh man. Yeah, they just use the one ice ray for defend the air. You know. <coughs> All right. I think the position uh, they may consider about the situation of Elon and Shaw uh, Tiger, so they have a slight change for the defensive position right now. Yeah, well, here they are, going straight up that line. I think if they play their strings right, we could see PvP Super Friends in a huge world of hurt. And uh, I just want to highlight that Hitsune Miku is there in the background and can fall back for a, uh, I guess you'd say, draw scenario tie, if you will. Mm -hmm. But we're still just waiting and waiting and waiting to see where things are going to go in the near future. There you go. Oh, they want to rush. Yeah, they're piling in. Hmm. I don't know. Can Antari hit anyone coming from the south in yeah. his window? No. Oh, man. You have to... Uh, uh, okay. Someone shoot him. 425 damage off yeah. of him. And guess what? Team efficiency just doesn't know how good their position is until they turn that corner. Eminence takes 334 damage, Ooh. although it's only one shot. 314 dealt onto Antari, who's now all alone. And we have Little Mac and Robin doubling around the back, but I don't think they'll be there in time. 660 off of Antari, and he is shut out of the game with very little in the way of damage dealt out to team efficiency. It's yeah. taking them oh, a world stunned. of time. Ice got, is out. They got two right now, so they're gonna rush the Teramaru right now. Oh, absolutely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. That's a four versus one situation. Yeah. T1 Cunningham coming in desperately trying to for, provide but supporting firepower. They only have like 80 seconds to capture. You know, they cannot got another T1 right now. They have to capture. That's true, that's yeah. true. All right, wow, so. so tough right now. Yeah, Hatsune Miku is going to try and stay there and defend home while Hydro Rex goes for a sneaky backdoor capture, but that's just not viable. Batman's going into the fray when he should not be there. Mm -hmm. This is wow. not looking good. And okay. they got yeah, they nice. realized they, Batman just stood there because he realized the, the futility of the situation he was in. He couldn't run away. Yeah. He's like, just get it over with, get it over with, essentially. And Robin is not looking all that great yes, right now. Coming? That's what I think, perhaps. No, yeah. I'm not sure. He said four feet. Four feet. Well, I'm, not, I'm not sure what that oh, means. Oh, forfeit. I think he says forfeit. Can I have Thunderstock now? Thunderstock? No. What happened? Big no. China. Mass DC. Uh, After the firefight began, there was a DC of sorts. Ah, uh, okay. I think is what happened. He said China happened, and I... Jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> the rules are the rules. I mean... Yeah, I know. It's the problem bad. is when is there DC? Because on the position right now, we see a Robin there, right? Mm -hmm. But Robin is flanking. So that means before uh, 10 efficient attack, they, he, he's not DC. After they attack, then the Robin is flanking. So it's someone. Yeah, there. so I, this, the disconnect mm -hmm. uh, happened after, after the yeah. battle begins. Right, that just sucked. Like yeah. I, that explained why it took them so long to react, and that and yeah, like right. where it seemed at some points there were almost no reactions coming from PVP Super yeah, Friends whatsoever. Right. So I, you know, don't don't want to go too deep into analysis, but I mean that that makes perfect sense after everything that we saw. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all thought that the reactions were really really slow, and I guess everyone was trying desperately to reconnect to the game, but it just didn't happen in the end. So yeah, too bad. Yeah, uh, they're in China. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, under under attack mode. I think Team 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 Efficiency is already considering about the campaign. You know, I mean the PVP campaign style. So not the campaign style. I mean they cannot they expect they cannot defend. So they know how to attack. The route is really nice, but the DC is not, is not under the the consideration. I think so. Well, it's time to go into a short break, guys. I believe our production crew has something to tell us. We'll be right back in just a few minutes. Okay. All right, guys, we are back with game number two, and game number three is actually going to be on steps. Not something we see all that often, but uh, I, I think if it's any ticket back into the game for PvP Super Friends, it will be on mines. And the trend that we've seen with a bunch of teams in, in this high-level play has been steps, mm -hmm. has more or less been the map of uh, draws. Um, oh, you mean a step? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. let's stop and think about it. It's the least played map, probably least practiced, probably the one that nobody wants to play. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, you know, Elon, uh, when Shot Tiger, they trying to camp on the, set, the south side, Elon almost win that because by the time it's not a number, right? It's, uh, I mean, uh, on a Tuesday. Do you remember the last one? I'm trying to remember. Game 6. The M6? Game what? 6. Game 6. Game 6. The short, short hiker, they camp on the southwest. And mm -hmm. the Elon used the light tank, try to break through, right? And right. And the, they kill everyone. <laughs> but the T1 is scared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that now. Yeah, but you know, the step on the south side is really hard to camp. I, most of the team camp on the south, I never seen them win. But uh, yeah. north side is totally different. I mean, we saw <laughs> Gas Plus in that situation, and mm. you know, with, with what happened with Gas Plus Night Eagles, we. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, I, the same. I remember that. So it looks yeah. like we're still waiting for everyone to get the real tank selection underway, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like that's that's actually the real issue here. Uh, we've seen 
a wide variety of tank compositions on this map. We're talking AMX 1390s, T49s, RU251s, a lot of mm -hmm. light tanks. Yep. But uh, we also see periodically every now and then a, a nice big heavy tank gets tossed in, but almost sell, almost never do we see the IS-3 on this map. We have seen the OBJ416. On this map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. Remember from Elo. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's a really special strategy. You know? Yeah. They expect the short tank is going to camp on the south. Right. So they already design a plane and trying to, you know, break that. You know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, how do I put this? Uh -huh. I don't want to put down any of the teams that are playing in tonight, but I definitely want to say that if Elong gets through to the season finals, I want to say it will be very exciting to see them play against Arate. Mm -hmm. If they, is, has Arate been uh, confirmed as the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the team that is in first prize for the Wargaming League Korea? Uh, I'm not sure about that right now. Yeah, you, mean, you mean this season? Yeah, this yeah. season. Uh, I, I think it should be because yeah. Arete is, is, the, is the best two teams that combine together. Yeah, and the, they already watch you. Uh, they already, uh, I mean, the, yeah, they're, the they're watching there. us every day, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why, why they watch? They cannot prepare, right? Oh, so yeah. If they didn't get that, why, why they watch? For sure, but I mean, I don't see Cal Thief in chat yeah, just Cal yet. Thief, yeah, I forgot him. He's not, he's not here just yet, so... Yeah. Still waiting for him to show but up. I think even he not right now. He can cannot see the VOD. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And the the, the Aratel was fight to he long on the Ku Kubinka. Kubinka? Yeah, Kubinka. Oh yeah, the, 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 the win, Kubinka open. The winner, Elon. Kubinka is a city in Russia, right? Yep. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have to Google that. I'm mm -hmm. like as many times as I've heard that. I'm gonna go to maps.google and see just where that is. Kubinka, yep. Russia. There we go. Okay. Check All right. It. See, I've always been mesmerized just a little bit uh, about Russia. Uh huh. As uh, oh, I guess you say. Yeah. Oh, it's it's on the outskirts of Moscow, more yeah, or less. Yeah. Uh, looks like it's about a eh, couple hours drive from Moscow, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you, know, you can use. It's a big country, so you don't know. Yeah, <laughs> uh, depending on traffic. I, I mean, like from what I can see here, it's like <laughs> no, you can you can use the uh, okay six, sixty kilometers. Yeah, about an hour's yeah, drive an hour. away. Okay, assuming there's no traffic. Okay. Um, but uh, I guess you could say the the part of Russia I'm most mesmerized with would actually be the APAC-ish regions. Like you look at these, you look at these cities that border China. And mm. you just think, well, what what is the culture like there? What are the people like there? Things like that. And uh, personally, I myself like... I, I've always wanted to visit Vladivostok because 100 years ago, that was actually a part of China. But let's dive back into this game right now. We can see that tanks are being selected. It's going to be two <laughs> T-69s from Team Efficiency, a T-49, mm -hmm. Chinese 110, mm -hmm. and, and an AMX-1590. Yep. Almost a Swiss Army knife. Yeah, the T forty nine is really, you know, uh, amazing stuff. You know, sometimes you cannot win by this one, and sometimes you cannot lose because of it. <laughs> right. It somewhat depends on lucky because the gun is really not accurate, there, though. Okay. Well, thus far, I mean, from PVP Super Friends, we only have two RU two five ones. Yeah, but you know, if they up here, I think that RU two five one gonna be scared. <laughs> Yeah. So, team efficiency spawning to north, is that right? Uh, let me check. Yeah, PP efficiency on the south. Yeah, that's right. PP on the north. Okay, then, I mean, like, eh, wait, eh, uh, 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 this is a little bit confusing. So, mm. who who do you think would go uphill in that regard? Do you think it would be the RU251? Uh, you know, if the RU251 can uphill. Uh oh. What's up? Uh oh. Uh, I think. Someone I think PP. No, 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 no. PP four feet. Forfeit this game because of the lag in China. It's too. It's too much. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, that's man. right. So in that they are. They just give up. Give up the, the whole match because of the of the lag. The lag is too yeah, much. Yeah, but you know, Elon gonna play too. So I you know, know. Yeah, Elon they also on China. So they, they didn't use the speed of so so far or something. Uh, yeah, because of most sure of the Chinese that. player on China, they got to use the software, the Xin Lei, you know. All right, they guys. They use that, they cannot connect to. Yeah, you know, but you know, maybe because they are not locals, they don't know how to do it. 
Yeah, but I say that Yamane cannot tell them that. PVP Super Friends has someone sure. has to have someone who can speak Chinese. But unfortunately, as Alpha <laughs> said, um, you know they they've called their forfeit. They they have unusually high ping. You know disconnects are rampant. So with that being said, we're gonna see team efficiency go straight into facing off against Elon. Mm -hmm. um, assuming this is their final decision, their final answer, if you will. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to go to a final break. We're going to go to a break, kind of sort this out, and we will be back in about five minutes to tell you guys, you know, where things really are. Okay. So don't go away. We're gonna have a big tank fight happening here. This is not too good, okay. Well, this is gonna get ugly real fast. We got Dexter taking 216 damage, 527 dealt on to Kiwami, getting his close, just a little too much, 248. 548 now off of Galfu, and he's out, out, out. Evidence down to 451. Comics losing wow. bits and pieces of himself. <laughs> yeah, that's T1 Cunningham going YOLO once again. Starman now down to that last sliver of HP. Comics gets out of there. There we go. He's exposed himself to three tanks for now. Who's gonna get the kill is the real question. Oh, it's 1078. Boom. But here we go. The big engagement's happening now. 512 damage off of Furbex. 226 off of Joke. 974. But the first to fall is Batman for TPP Superman. 704 damage off of Atari. It's 450. It's. Oh my god. So much. He's on fire right now, horse. And Hydrex does get the finishing blow onto him, and now it's only one AMX 1390 remaining for Team Numb. That yeah. was just, you know, forget the fact that the first blood actually went to Numb, and they took Batman out of the game. Missing a few shots, and wow, oh, he's trying to get away. He's trying to get away. Okay. Yeah, uh, not gonna work. He didn't even get a finishing blow onto uh, the enemy. might just get lit up really badly. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Taking advantage of the situation right now. Comics is out of the game, but so too is Nat and Chen. Even trade so far, but the Amex 1590s are still alive. Here we go. Zeus getting rammed by N60, taking 504 damage, and now Dex is out of the game. He was playing. 434 off of N60 it will be 996 and Hanks looks like he could be taken out of the game shortly with his track disabled indeed he is CKSPB taking 220 damage running for a dear life right now he's the last tier 8 on his team and wow. boom slammed out of the game by Elite Here we go, free cam mode is the order of the day. Hades and Nino gonna meet dead center with force. 996, 
seven of the like friendly fire. Wow. Four ninety three so off of the horse as the ten thirteen. Wow. Vietnam is rushing through there. Dude, seven eighty five off of Joe. Wow. And he's wow. out of the game. Yeah. But Hades is on the reload. He's been on the reload a lot faster than Ajax, and I think that means Ajax. Yeah, he's on the hit list. But that's wow. uh, Hades and C five M not chasing down me. Now it's just the team is going to get the ball to win. I think. Yeah, it's going to be a nice little fireworks there. Wow. You see the ammo oh, rack. Wow. The ammo rack got Here we go. In a rush, wow. it will be Hank's OAO at 520 in the way of damage. Nice. 770. It looks like he might not even get a wow. chance to fire his last four shots. Starman Ooh, gets nice. taken out. The first, the first one. run wow. goes to and our. Wow. He goes, that's a lot nice. of chaos unfolding before our eyes. They've, got, they've taken down two for one in the way of an AMX 1490. 748 off of that first object 416. Only turns 180 degrees. Not able to see Cat Chen. Cat Chen's going to continue firing from the rear. Indeed. CTG4. Oh, I'm not sure if that was worth it or not, but he's taken down. It, look at this. Oh, oh, man. Was that a missed shot coming from Cat Chen? Oh! oh. 784 of a KFC oh, Street, okay, and he's nice, out nice. of the game. It's now to the D1 here. What, 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 what are they doing? Okay, there we go, there we go. Yeah. CKSBB gets a kill, gets the kill. Okay, so he's at T69, and that's really all he has to do is aim, and there we go. Oh my he's god, 275, he dives straight into it, not such a great Whoa. idea. Next up, surround, gets... Just guaranteeing the kill on the Kai CN. He just leads the charge. He doesn't care. 307 damage off of Comics. And it looks like Elong sort of throws this game just a little bit. Nightmare taking 891 damage. It looks like he's kind of stuck on the reload, but the mod is actually broken. 372 off of Eminence and in the background. I, someone else fell 770 off of GRP. And I think this is a game that I've seen. Do you see the damage on the 70 on the T? Not so sure. Whoa, whoa, man. GRB got to kill there. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is 2v2. Two, oh my god, where is this game going right now? It's <laughs> chaos. Yeah, it says <laughs> shut up here, and get out of my way. All right, they're going straight Ooh, up the middle. Oh, someone's reloading. Oh, okay. You're all how low they're first. Yeah, Tanaka wow. is a lot of trouble. Nice. He got sandwiched there and taken out of the game almost immediately. Yeah. Kai super exposed here, firing for effect, making wow, 599 wow, damage. Wow, 75 wow. stacking up to over 1,000 now. And Dexta is wow. out. OUT out of this game, but Kai <laughs> finally trades himself after taking down two tanks. <laughs> Just clear the streets, guys. The steamroll is coming through, and it's got Elong printed on its face. This, this is the only way we can say it. 1,000 HP and 55, brother, and stacking with a T1 Cunningham, trying to get the kill, but failing ultimately. <laughs>